Well, this is Amazon's new free-to-play game that just came out. It's a mix between League of Legends and Overwatch, if, if I had to, like, kind of uh, give it a, a, a genre. We're playing the Battle Royale mode. We're going to give you guys some gameplay over here. But uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and select a starting point. I'm going to go ahead and start kind of on the outside here. And uh, this is the Battle Royale mode. So there's neutral monsters and you kill them, you'll get XP, you level up, you can kind of choose what you want for your talents, kind of like League of Legends or Heroes of the Storm. It is a hero-based game, so there will be more heroes. So we're going to go ahead and... First off, let's go and grab this medkit over here. You have to actually kind of capture these medkits. But our character is kind of based around shields. We have a teleport over here. It's a little bit slow. But we can teleport towards it. And we have to kill these PvE monsters. They'll drop these little blue orbs. We'll pick them up. And on the very bottom left, you'll see it says 1537. Till next. And uh, basically, yeah, we'll just basically PvE for a little bit. And eventually, we'll hopefully encounter some uh, enemies. But uh, you definitely want to level up just a little bit. Uh, just so you can get some of your extra abilities. We can go ahead and laugh and get some extra shields. Okay, so we're coming across this, this enemy over here. The damage in this game is relatively low. Like the damage that we deal. Our mobility isn't uh, what I would consider the greatest because after you activate your little... After we activate it, like I can activate it and send it over there. But it takes a second. All right, so our our homie got a kill. Go ahead and shield up. Go and capture this health. Go ahead and uh, pop this medi, since we're already maxed out. Okay. Go ahead and reload. Uh, un unfortunately, there's no voice comms in this game. I didn't get to show off the mobility, but basically, we got a little robot, and the little robot guy, uh, we can teleport towards him. Not this guy that's moving here, but like the little robot that's on our uh, back. I can just move my cam out of the way here so you guys can see maybe see a little bit better. But uh, if we open up the map over here. But our guy's kind of like a, a Torbjorn. He sets up these plant turrets. He can throw down like a, an AoE on the ground. I'm not sure if we share the levels though. I haven't really messed around with this mode too much, or this game at all. It just came out. I'm just going to go ahead and grab another medi. But the, the little blue in the uh, bottom middle, that's our shields. Nothing to, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so it did say plus 163 for me. Something I can, I'm getting hit markers on that, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I can show off my mobility because I'm not going to activate it during game because, see, the bot has to go there, and then we activate it again, and there's a huge casting animation. It's just what I would consider too slow to activate it in mid-combat, but let's go ahead and go over here. Medical station incoming. Do a little... Extra jump here. I'm just gonna go ahead and punch it. They won't get away with that. So we can do some more damage. There you go. It's not the shield. I'll keep my Q just in case I need to activate it during um, like an actual fight. Which just gives me like a boost of shields. We're getting ambushed. Or is it just this? Because this thing will do damage to us too. I think he's just healing up. Okay, so he's going to activate his heal. I'm trying to to give him the shield. Uh, let's see, can we eliminate this before? There we go. I think we're in storm now, but I want to grab all these. So I'm going to go ahead and heal. 
Time to use a med kit. I don't think, yeah, you can't get headshots with this, uh, character. Oh. Use that. Pop a medi. Uh, they're, they're gonna be in storm, so I just threw that so we can kind of heal up. Got a hit marker. They won't get away with that. I think we got him. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Essence eruption in progress. Oh, I can't actually enter that. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a shield. My teammate. Okay. I'll try to stick next to him. Oh, is this another thing we can destroy? But the damage in this game is what I would consider relatively low. I, I wish it was a lot higher. D just for all the characters. It's not even just the character that I'm playing. Because it would be like support. It's just... Just in general. Got him. That punch actually does a lot of damage. Okay, now we're out of here. Out of medis. So there's only four four people remaining, so one last fight over here. Let's see if we can clap this dub right here. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that does damage to us. We're just going to go ahead and go over to our buddy. This does damage to us, sir. Okay, no. We good? Looks like the, the game visually just kind of changed over here. Your knuckle duster hits now essence eruption has subsided. Alright. Oh, he's already uh, max level. Oh, you can get to level six. Okay, I thought five was max. So I think five might be max for our um, our abilities, and I'll, I'll kind of explain that a little bit um, after the game because I need to go into like the the menu here, kind of show you guys some of the other characters. So I'm gonna activate this. Let's just attack certain things. Is there a guy following me? I wish you could. Uh, Enable voice comms in this game, but unfortunately, this game just doesn't have it. Uh, okay, it does have like like a ping system. Final essence condenser to be launched. Probably stick around with my teammate. Let me go and grab this med kit. Regeneration amplifier. He keeps on saying that. He's probably asking for help. I'm just like, oh, let's go look for a med kit kappa. Essence condenser active. I'm sorry, man. We'll collect right. large volumes of concentrated essence. Oh, looks like he, he's got this. Guys trying to pop a medi. We ain't letting it go through that. All right, there we go. Easy claps. <laughs> okay, so that was okay. Um, but that's the battle royale mode for this game. It does have like a normal mode that I do want to go ahead and 
give you guys gameplay of, but I'm gonna separate these two videos because obviously Battle Royale is like the, the hot thing. Well, it was, I'd say like a year ago, um, but the game still feels like it's still in an earlier state. Um, just as a heads up, it is free to play on Steam currently. These are the reviews. I feel like some of the hits and the way that the game feels doesn't feel very rewarding. I also feel like the uh, game in terms of the damage uh, is just too low. And I'm going to go ahead and just hop in and kind of explain some of the other characters. So first off, the game does not lock you out of any of the heroes. It is a free to play game as of right now, uh, but you do have access to all the heroes. And when I mentioned before where it was kind of like League of Legends where you get to select some skills to upgrade as you level up. So see, at level 1, I get to select if I want to start off with 3 medkits instead of 1. I can go ahead and increase my blink distance. This is the uh, another character, but it had, this character has a blink. And then uh, I have the option to go ahead and make it so our melee attack is going to do up to 80 dot to immediate damage. It's going to convert it. So there is a little bit of play with some customization. As far as uh, the game being pay to win, there isn't anything at the moment that sticks out. Uh, there is a, a battle pass that you can purchase that you can unlock certain voice lines, uh, certain skins, and uh, that kind of stuff. So again, there isn't anything that um, would be predatory in any way as far as again right now sometimes the games change as it goes along these are the characters that are available uh, i might kind of make a video going over all the characters abilities and stuff in the future uh, but as far as right now i just want to get you guys the, the gameplay for this video and kind of showcase off uh, some of the other heroes because there are some really unique heroes in this game i'm gonna go ahead and go into the um training mode uh or i'm sorry yeah let's go to the uh the training uh, and the practice room and i'm going to select a different hero so you can see that uh, there's a lot more play to this game uh, than what you guys just saw and it comes down to the other mode that is supposed to be like i would say the main mode where you go ahead and um capture these points uh but like i said i'll, I'll make a separate video for it but i kind of wanted to show off like the game so this character has some blinks they have the ability to basically see things through like walls and stuff and it does work in 360 uh, if you get one of the perks but he, th he shoots a shotgun and it does uh, dot damage um, you can see I can unload a whole clip into him and he eventually will die it, it is a damage over time and then we've got these other abilities so it, it, there is a lot more play than uh, just kind of left clicking like we were kind of playing a character that was kind of like Zarya if you will like I can kind of give my teammates a shield and then also give myself a shield um, I'm just trying to make some similarities between this and Overwatch since most of you guys are familiar with Overwatch but yeah, there's a lot more characters and uh, there's a lot more mechanics to it. Uh, there is like a little point that you can capture. Uh, but in the Battle Royale mode, that's just kind of just what's available as of right now. But uh, here's my first impressions on the game after showing you guys some gameplay. I think that the at least the game is indeed free. Uh, I think that is one thing that is quite nice with the game. Uh, if this game costed any money, uh, I think that it would really stagger its potential. But it's got a few unique heroes in the game. And again, nothing's locked at the start. But I'm curious to know what you guys feel about seeing the gameplay uh, initially and early on. Uh, some of the characters that I thought looked really cool uh, were onto this is like a sniper class. Uh, the time to kill, unfortunately, is too slow for even any of the characters. The sniper will not one-shot headshot uh, the uh, enemies, unless they're at really low HP. But uh, that could be due to balance issues. But again, this is day one. We'll wait and see where this game goes. But as far as my first impressions on the game, I think the time to kill needs to be a little bit faster. The uh, hits need to feel like they're more impactful in the game. But, uh, I mean, it, it is free, so I can't really complain too much about that. But anyways, I'll give you guys gameplay of like the, the base game mode and I'll play another character that's a little bit more flashy because the other character, I think this guy is one of the best characters, uh, which is Rahi. But uh, again, he's uh, not, I would say, the most flashy. He's basically like Zarya from Overwatch. But anyways, let me know, guys, what you thought of Crucible down below. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you are new here, hit subscribe, turn that bell if you want to see more Crucible content. I'll probably, like I said, I'll, I'll give you guys gameplay of the other mode, but that was the Battle Royale uh, version of it. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. I'm signing out. Peace.